I was awarded the AstraZeneca um, Woman in Pharmacology Prize. It was a great honour to receive the prize. I was very excited and it was, um, it was also an honour and humbling to be nominated and there were, I think, uh, three separate groups that nominated me and the, I guess the group that touched me most were the Young Pharmacologist Committee who nominated me for the prize and um, they've, I've had a great three years with them as chair of their committee so it, this is my last, last month in that capacity so it was a really nice way to, to finish that off. When I got it I, and I started reading a, about uh, equality and how that affects women in science I, I, I realised it is an important thing to have and I thought if I can if I can show people that you don't have to have everything perfect in your life to um, enjoy a career in pharmacology and in science as a woman then that's that's good because you don't always see that side of things. It was also a, a really special to me that my family could attend. Um, my mum and dad were both there and my three of my children and my two nephews were there, my brothers and my sister-in-laws and also the lady who cares for our family. She's uh, joined us when um, my son was diagnosed with autism so she's been with us for years so she was able to attend as well. One of my two supervisors, Gilberto Danucci, who's from Brazil, was there which was brilliant and John Wallace who's another uh, long-standing friend was there so it was it was really nice yeah I, uh, I was very honoured. It wasn't so easy in the end to, to make the talk but it was quite easy to plan because I you know it's a it's about your career and there's a cro chronological order to that so I just took the literal simple approach of starting at the beginning and then taking it taking it through and I um, selected aspects of my research that I thought would would um, appeal to a big audience but it was it was also good to think about although I stuck to a chronological order what of the research I do in my group um, has with the test of time proved to be meaningful and translatable and one area that I've really pursued from my PhD is the area of cyclooxygenase biology and that area lends itself very well to general uh, interest because everyone knows what aspirin is, everyone knows what non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs do, and quite a number of people have heard of Vioxx and COX 2 and cardiovascular side effects. So that was something that was going to feature, and I was able to kind of spin our research in that area across all those years and linking in working with John Vane and, and then working with Fred Murad, both of who got Nobel Prizes. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was quite good, a good experience to put that together.